Tales, Miss Kristen here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a weather sensory bottle. I have one that I have previously made here. This is my fall sensory bottle. If you look closely, you can see yellow and red leaves floating in it, as well as some orange and red pom-poms. And the water is a nice little yellow color to represent the leaves changing colors in the season of fall, which is the season that's coming up soon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a snow one. You could use either a big water bottle or a little water bottle, whatever your preference is. The first thing you want to do is collect items that you can put in your sensory bottle. I have here some white pom-poms and these little white pom-poms are gonna represent snow in my sensory bottle. So let's go ahead and put those in there. Boop, 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 boop. And there we have it, our pom-poms are in our water bottle. I also have these little sequins snowflakes. I don't know if you can see them shine. Look at them shine. I find them very pretty and very shimmery and shiny. So I'm gonna put those in there as well. You could collect things from outside to put in your sensory bottle. You could find leaves outside to add to your sensory bottle. If you have glitter at home, you could put glitter in your sensory bottle. Um, pom poms, anything. What do you think? What kind of items could we put in our sensory bottle? What items would float or what items would would sink? Hmm, that is a good question. All right, now that we got our sequins and our white pom-poms in here, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter because when I see snow, sometimes the snow is sparkly on the ground if the sun's gleaming on it. So I'm gonna add some glitter. And oopsie daisy, my glitter wasn't open and it exploded. All right, let's, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pour some of this in here. Oh, maybe I could do it in front of you. Just kidding. Perfect. Well, would you look at that? Just a little bit, not too much. That looks good to me. All right, hmm. What else should I put in my sensory bottle? I think I should add some blue glitter. Yeah, I see blue during Christmas time sometimes or in the winter. Water is blue and snow is made from water. We'll just do a little bit of blue, very little bit. I want more silver than blue, I think. All right, I think we're ready for the final project. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill this up with water. <gasps> I don't have any water with me. I'm gonna have to go to the sink. Hang tight just a second. Oh, I got the water. It is almost done. Last but not least, I need to make sure my sensory bottle is closed tightly with a cap before I shake it up. Whoa, do you see this? Look at it. You could see all the snowflakes and snowballs sparkling around in my sensory bottle. Wow! How pretty! And there you have it, boys and girls. This is a snow sensory bottle. You can make yours out of anything else you want. If you maybe you could do a a sunny day sensory bottle. Hmm, I wonder what that would look like. I think you would might need a yellow pom-pom for a sun and maybe some blue glitter to represent a blue sky. Or you could even put food coloring 
in your um, water to change the water to be blue. That would be really cool. All right. Well, thank you for watching, boys and girls. Have fun. Experiment with different items in your sensory bottle. And show me what you got at our next Zoom, okay? I'll see you next week. Bye.